Well, the best thing to think about is to think that everything I perceive is there by my own decision, and and it's all just symbolic. Like I remember it was a, a couple, two, three years ago, we were here in Stockholm, and of course I'd been here to Sweden a number of times, but I remember talking with Helen, and Helen was saying, "Yeah, you know, religion's not so big here, and." Jesus is not so big here in this and this. We're in downtown Stockholm and she's telling me that Jesus is not really big. Guess what comes <laughs> down the street in downtown Stockholm? A, yes, I was there. It was my perception. A Jesus parade <laughs> with Jesus banners and Jesus singing. Yes, right in downtown <laughs> Stockholm. Now. Is that unusual? Well, one time, this little house, this little place where I live, where I have the Peace House, the communities got together one time in the middle of the summer, and they decided to throw Jesus a birthday party in the middle of summer, not on December 25th. So like seven churches got together, and they shut off the streets. Sometimes they do these things to sell stuff, like for block parties or whatever. And they shut the streets off and they had a birthday party for Jesus with seven churches. And we took our, our chairs and we sat there. They had parades, they had theater, they had gospel singers for free celebrating Jesus' birthday in the summer. And I'm sitting there in my lawn chair going, this is my mind. <laughs> see? Think of it that way. Whenever you see something, it's just everything you perceive is our witnesses and symbols. Yeah. And that's all. You're just seeing what you believe. You're seeing a motion picture of what you believe. And you can of course change that. Isn't that wonderful?